Hello, hi guys, it's Inamka4 here and we're going to be taking a look at how easily you can install Android L on our Google Nexus 5. And if you're not already aware, Android L was recently announced at Google I.O. 2014 as being the successor to Android KitKat. Now don't get it twisted, this isn't a polished finished product, it's not even the beta or the alpha variant, it's a developer preview, which basically means it's aimed at developers looking to create applications for the operating system, so no doubt it will be bugged and some things will not work so this is just to play around with just to see what's a sign of things to come so do proceed at your own risk and make sure you've got a backup of all your data because this process will wipe it completely clean to get started we're gonna head on over into our settings then go down to developer options if you can't see developer options then head on over into about phone and tap build number seven times until it says UI developer then when you go back a step you will now see developer options enabled so head on over in here and make sure there's a tick next to USB debugging say OK to the prompt and then turn off your handset once your device has switched off press volume down and power simultaneously until you get to download mode like so and then plug in your device into your computer using a USB cable. Once you're on your computer, you'll need to download the Android SDK if you don't already have it installed. Now there's plenty of material online on how to install it and set it up. So I'll leave a link down in the description box of where you can download it as well as how to set it up. Once you've got the Android SDK installed, I've got a link to it on my desktop here. Load it up and then load up SDK Manager. Hit run to any windows that may appear and you'll notice it takes a second or two for it to appear but you'll see Android L API 20 L preview along the left hand side here. Hit deselect all along the bottom and then make sure only Android L is selected then hit install in the bottom right. Make sure you accept the license and then hit install well, that took a little bit longer than a couple of minutes to download and install, but either way, once you've got these seven checkboxes under the Android L section downloaded and installed, we can minimize this window and this one. You now need to go to the Android L developer preview webpage. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. Hit get started and it takes you to some instructions, which we've already done to be fair. We've downloaded the Android SDK, platform tools has already been included as part of that and we've just downloaded and installed the Android L preview section and accepted the license agreement. The next section here talks about hardware and AVDs, which is for application developers. So we can ignore this and this is the interesting part. This process works on the Nexus 5 as well as the Nexus 7 2013 model. So depending on which one you want to do, click on that. We want to do the Nexus 5 so it takes us through to this location here. I'm going to hit have read the terms and conditions and download this file and you can see it started downloading. It's just over 400 megabytes so it shouldn't take too long at all. The Hammerhead file has finished downloading and it's on my desktop here with the file extension of .tgz. So what we now need to do is use a program called 7-zip to extract the file that we've just downloaded which will give us another zip file which we'll need to extract again. So this is a file that is now extracted and you can see it looks slightly different with a file extension of .tar. So what we will now need to do is extract this file as well onto our desktop and this time it will give us some folders. So I'll bring those into shot here and we can minimize 7-zip because we don't no longer need it. So you can see what we've done. We've downloaded this file, extracted it and it's given us this file. We've extracted this and it's given us the folder here which if we go into it has the files that we need. So select all of these. So right click and copy once all of them are selected then what you need to do is go into whatever your SDK has been installed mine is here and then go into SDK folder and then platform tools and if you can see the fastboot.exe file here you're in the correct location so right click an empty space and then hit paste once the files have copied across you're ready to go and if you've already unlocked your bootloader all you need to do is double click this file which is called flash-all.bat and it will do the rest for you however if you haven't already unlocked your bootloader you will need to do that first otherwise clicking this file will do nothing so I'll just show you how to unlock your bootloader hold down shift on your keyboard and then right click within a white space in this folder and select open command window here 
you'll get this black DOS prompt window. Now to make sure that your phone is talking to your computer properly, type in fast boot space devices like so and hit enter. If you get the serial number of your device, then fast boot afterwards, it means your phone's talking to your computer fine. If you don't get this, that means there's a communication between your handset and your computer. So I would recommend changing the USB cable and then possibly uninstalling and reinstalling the drivers for your handset. Again, I'll leave a link to the drivers down in the description box below. But if you get this, as I say, you're ready to go. And the next thing that we need to type in here is fast boot space OEM space on the lock and then hit enter you'll get the three dots within this command window here and on the screen of the handset you'll get a message saying unlock bootloader and a yes or no at the bottom you'll need to use the volume up and down buttons to select a yes unlock bootloader and in brackets it does say it will void the warranty and use the power button to confirm that selection you'll notice it says erasing towards the bottom here it'll take maybe 30 seconds or so and then you'll notice it says lock state unlocked in red text. Back on the computer here, this DOS prompt window is no longer needed because we've already unlocked the bootloader. So we can go ahead and double click on this flash hyphen all dot bat file and it will start pushing the new firmware to the handset. So we just need to be patient and let it do its thing. And don't worry if on the black DOS prompt window it says it's missing anything, just leave it be as long as it says writing towards the bottom of the handset itself it will carry on going through the motions you can see we're done on the computer here it says press any key to exit so we can in fact disconnect it from the computer itself now this may take a good couple of minutes to boot up so again just be patient and let us do think excellent that definitely took a good five minutes to get to this screen here so we'll just set it up as normal and it gives us a warning here to say the Android image that we have here is subject to change and governed by the Android SDK yada 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 it may be buggy essentially so we're gonna hit OK to that then select our Wi-Fi we'll just sign in there we go shouldn't take too long at all here and I'll just untick all the location services and newsletter options here just skip past Google now and we'll do yes I'm in just to help them along a little bit and here we go, we get to the on-screen tutorials here. So we'll just hit OK. You can see how different it looks from his predecessor. The apps drawer looks pretty much the same. If you go into the settings here and look how clean that looks. I'll just turn the brightness down a little bit uh, because I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And again, you can see how different the notifications area looks. Uh, we'll go down to about device and you can see model number is Nexus 5 Android version L. And if we tap onto that, here we have Android version L on a Google Nexus 5. Now, if you want to do the reverse of this and go back to the way you were on KitKat, the process is exactly the same. And I'll leave a link down in the description to the files that you'll need to download for Android KitKat version 4.4. So there we go, guys, that's how easily you can install Android L developer preview on your Google Nexus 5. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw and if you found it informative, then please do give us a like. And if you haven't yet done so, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.